Значит, снова Крым бумага, 11 километр, усиливается огонь, пламя, слышны опять разрывы, взрыв газового оборудования, непонятно, что там происходит. От нас буквально эпицентр, буквально метров 300. У нас что-то как влупило сейчас, короче. И дым валит, там что-то бахает, блин. Просто жесть. Где-то вот там вот. В метрах, наверное, 500 от нас. У нас аж стены задрожали, блин. Что-то горит. Что непонятно. Поебались, пожалуйста, их Что это горит? Russian troops recently made another attempt to launch an offensive in the Kursk region. The offensive quickly petered out and part of the advancing forces found themselves surrounded. Russian Z-War correspondent Yuri Podolyaka spoke about this. According to Podolyaka, part of the Russian forces from the 810th Brigade managed to break through to the south through the settlement of Pogrebki during the offensive. That's where the group got stuck surrounded by the Ukrainian defense forces. The enemy is gradually neutralizing the threats that have emerged due to the breakthrough of the 810th Brigade column through the settlement of Pogrebki to the south. Those of our units that were disembarked from the armor in several places have taken up a circular defense. No one can break through to them yet, the Z-War correspondent said. According to him, all the settlements in the Kursk region, the liberation of which the propaganda began to talk about on the first day of the offensive have been returned under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. Podolyaka also reported that Russian troops were bogged down in the area of the Novoivanovka and Dar Ino. The advance there was stopped on the first day. The new Russian counter-offensive certainly cannot be called successful. Podolyaka complained. It should be noted that according to Russian media, the Kremlin ordered the command to completely drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region by the new year. Russian dictator Vladimir Putin allegedly does not want to start peace talks with Ukraine while it still holds this trump card. Russian troops are trying to advance in the Kursk region. Ukraine's top commander said, adding that Moscow has amassed tens of thousands of soldiers in the region that borders Ukraine. Following the order of their military leadership, they are trying to dislodge our troops and advance deep into the territory we control. General Alexander Sirsky, the top commander of Kiev's forces, wrote on the Telegram messaging app. Ukrainian troops launched an incursion into Russia's border Kursk region in August taking a number of settlements under control in the first such deployment into the Russian territory since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion on Ukraine in February 2022. The Ukrainian forces recently restored some positions in the area of Seversk and Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region and the armed forces of Ukraine are also continuing their operation in the Kursk region. However, the Russian occupiers had minor success near Pokrovsk as well as Kurokovo and Kremenaya. This is stated in a report by the Institute for the Study of War. According to analysts, fighting continued in the main Ukrainian bridgehead in the Kursk region on November the 9th, but there was no confirmed progress in this area by either side. A Russian blogger with ties to the Kremlin claimed that the Ukrainian armed forces are using unknown tanks during the assault on Russian positions in the Kursk region. ISW analysts add that the armed forces of Ukraine recently regained lost positions north of Belohorivka. At the same time, Russian forces carried out offensive operations in the area of Verknekamenskoy, east of Siversk and Belohorivka on November the 8th and 9th. The ISW report indicates that both Ukrainian and Russian forces have advanced in the area of Pokrovsk. Based on geolocated imagery on October the 31st and November the 9th, analysts determined that the Ukrainian armed forces have regained control over lost positions north of Novorodivka, located southeast of the district center. At the same time, citing additional footage, ISW notes 
that the occupation army has advanced along the E-50 Donetsk-Pokrovsk highway north of Selidov. Russian troops also carried out offensive operations to the north of Kurokov in the area of Ilinka, Novoselidivka, Novodmitrivka, Beretsky and Voznesenka in the east, near Maximilianivka in the south, in the vicinity of Dalny. Even in the early phase of the 21st century Battle of Kursk, the Ukrainians have demonstrated that they have learned the hard lessons of last year's failed counter-offensive. Their preparations had been meticulous. The Ukraine preserved operational security, denying the Russians crucial information about where it might strike and with what strength. Importantly, using a defensive operation in Sumy as a cover story, they denied the Russians the knowledge that Ukrainian offensive operations were even under consideration. Ukraine also used very experienced formations for the initial phases of the operation. Unlike in their 2023 counteroffensive, they maximized the use of drones and snuffed out the Russian drone forces across a huge swathe of Kursk in the lead up to and in the early hours of their operation. This denied Russia crucial and timely intelligence. Soldiers of the 291st Regiment of the Occupying Russian Army have released a video message. In the video address, the soldiers fighting in the direction of Zaporizhia complained that they were sent to death by their commanders, that they were not provided with the necessary ammunition, and that those of them complaining, get punished. Soldiers added that those who return safely from the battle are sent to assault again. Stressing that a large number of servicemen have died, the soldiers demanded the replacement of their commanders. Мы, как видите, готовы встретить своего любимое командование, которое не не любимое, как как мы готовы встретить, которые по погубили все всех наших ребят, по пацанов и также по после вчерашнего на наката при откате трёх сотых и те те, кто испугался, как они на называют пятихатки ебаные и то, что мы мясо. Они нас за, за людей не, не считают. Был бы выставлен за загранотряд, то есть на наипера, которые действовали против нас, слава иже. При этом мы хотим на, написать массовое обращение в всей станции, чтобы это в конце концов уже прекратилось. Да, и так как вчера была, были отправлены три штурмовые группы, из них добралось только три человека и не было оказано никакого прикрытия. Все, кто были ранены, не было предоставлено эвакуации. Некоторые выбирались так, как могли. Люди, которые вернулись, их отправляют в накат с ножами. Хотят отправить. Без, без оружия. Без оружия. Командование на наше говорит, что мы не о мясо. За, за людей нас здесь не, никто не считает это отношение как же жёлтым, в прямом смысле. Ждите, Поэтому что мы, мы, мы хотим, удалось. чтобы это уже просто прекратилось, чтобы на, нас считали за людей, мы не имеем мяса. И к такому как командованию, каким что турмам, мы, мы готовы, но как командование нам такое не надо. Мы будем добиваться -то того, чтобы такое командование -то также испарилось, как и наши пацаны. Также было озвучено, в случае того, что если мы закрепимся, никакого подвоза боекомплектов не будет. Мы идем практически пустые туда. Ни эвакуации, ни подвоза, ничего не будет. Ну, просто билет в одну сторону. Без расчета на то, что кто-то вернется оттуда. Если кто-то вернется, их... Собирают и обратно. Вот так вот обстоят дела. Число какое? Седьмое? Восьмое. Так что люди знаете, что творят беспредел. Верхушки. Ну все мясо ебаное. Вот это мы нахуй.